Hi, nice to see you back here on my channel. Yeah, first of all, I want to say thank you for all the nice comments on my last videos and that you all enjoy what you see. So I'm very happy about this. And today I want to show you how I do a sweet strawberry crumble um, because I think you know that I love uh, strawberries and so I also want to do a nice strawberry crumble. Before I start with the preparing, I have just to preheat the oven. So this is also why I wear my microphone. So because the oven will also do some noise and so it's much easier for you to understand me. And I also have done a little bit of preparation uh, with my strawberries. I bought them today morning, this morning. Uh, I've just cut them down to small pieces and do some sugar on it and also directly in the right form here. And now I want to prepare the crumble. Um, yeah, it's not so difficult. I just only need flour, sugar and some butter, nothing more. And I've done also a little bit of preparing here so it's a little bit easier than to do everything. So let's start with the flour. I need 150 gram. So this is why I need just only this one here. This is just for measurement. And I need just my flour. And of course the sugar. So it's just a nice small picture here on. So let me see, 150 I told you, so I have to be careful so that I don't do so much math, but it will be okay. This is very, very easy, this kind of reset, because you need the same flour as you need uh, as you use sugar and just a little bit more uh, just a little bit less butter than the rest of it so i also need this one here i just want to do it like this so it's a little bit more easy then to you do the crumble later mm, but it doesn't work as i want but it's okay just let me maybe i do it here so you can better see okay because it is a nice and sunny day out this today and so I thought it would be a good idea to have a nice strawberry crumble for coffee time and I enjoy my crumble mostly when it is warm uh, not so hot just warm and then it will be very very delicious so this was the flour and now I have some flour hands but it doesn't matter now I need the same of sugar, so 150 of sugar. Yes, this is sugar. So. It's a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. So it will be a little bit more sweet. It will be very nice. And now I need butter. And hopefully I have taken the butter out early enough out of the fridge. So because it's not good when the butter is too hard, but it's also not good when the butter is too soft. So I hope that it will works just let me this is very nice here with my measurement because i can just adjust it and say okay now it is 
100 gram because I have a plate on it and I need 100 gram of sh butter so I have to look until it is on the 200 so let me see oh, it looks good and I also do smaller pieces then it's much easier to do it later with a but uh, with the uh, uh, flour and the sugar just more more so just a bit more and a little bit more <laughs> yes i just do it uh, preferably in small pieces so it's much easier than to use it with the rest of it. Now I think it will be fine. Okay, give me a second. I need a paper to clean my hands because I don't want to have everything under my fingernails so I use some gloves to squeeze it okay and now just in here So, and now I have just only to do it like this here, to mix everything well with my fingers. <coughs> yeah, so, I also can decide how big the crumbles must be and, yes. Some people do it with a mixer, but I just do it with on this style here because I think it will be much, uh, not much better, but I learned it like this and so I do it like this. Now it took a little bit of time, but if it will be good, then it took some time. Okay, now it's just on the right way. You see it like here. It looks John very good. So just only some more squeezes here. Then I do it just like a big one so that I see as everything will be fine. Okay, now I think it will be fine. So, now I need my strawberries. And now I just only have to put it here on in bigger ones and in smaller crumbles. So, oops. I do have some mess, but it's not only me. Always when I do some baking, I will be doing a little bit of mess.
just a little some more. And, um, that will be fine. So, just let the channel out and it's a little bit easier for me. And I don't feel such a mess. Says the last stuff. Okay. Oh, it looks very delicious. Okay, and I hope it will taste good. Yes? Okay. And now the best one is just some sugar on the top, not so much, just a little bit, so it gives a little bit more crunch and of course more sweetness. So, and now it goes in the oven, in the preheated oven. And let me see, around about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, just 150 degrees, so not so high, but not too low, and around about 10 to 15 minutes. I will just do a check during this time, and when it's ready, I will be back. Okay, now just only around about maybe two minutes to go, because it's just getting brown and light brown, but it must be a little bit darker, brown. not too dark, but a little bit darker like now. And unfortunately you cannot smell how good it smells and I love this. And I also have just a little bit cleaned up my mess behind me after or during the baking time. And I also have some, some of this for me because when I want to take it out of the oven, I have to put it down there and uh, I also need some stuff of this because my wooden table will not be very happy if I put the hot plate on it and so yeah, it might be a good idea to put this down after this. Yes, um, I also will write you later in the text that how good it was and how good it tasted because I have just to cool it down a little bit uh, before I eat it and normally I want to do it also with some cream um, yeah and I also have to mix the cream and so I will tell you later in the or I will tell you in the comment in the in description of the video how good it was and how delicious my crumble was and I think just around about one minute to go just let me check Yes, just a little bit more, then everything will be fine. Um, yes, uh, I hope, <coughs> oh, sorry, I hope until now you enjoy all my videos which you have seen and if so, maybe you like to give me a thumb up or maybe also you like to describe. And uh, yeah, so just some seconds to do and just let me wait and then I will be back to you. Okay, it looks good now, so just mix the oven out and now I need my gloves so that I don't hurt my fingers and my hands. It looks a little bit funny, but I have just only one from here and one from here, so I use both. Okay, mm, yes, that looks good, very, very good. Now you can also see it's a, a brown tone and some crunchies here and just some strawberries here and maybe uh, let me see if you can see it. No, not directly, but sometimes you can see how hot it is when uh, the strawberries are boiling and so on. Okay, now this was my 
strawberry, my sweet hot strawberry crumble. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, maybe you want to do the same at home. If so, please write me and then I give you the recept of it. Or it's just very easy. Strawberries, a little bit of sugar. And for the crumble, 150 flour, 150 sugar and 150 butter. So everything will be fine and this works. If you like this video, play, give me a thumb up and maybe you like to subscribe my channel so we are, will be connected and if so, you get every time an information when I have a new video. So bye bye, have a great day, enjoy your time, bye bye.